Now, most of these games I'm going to be looking up on Amazon and I'm just going to be scanning the barcode with a little barcode scanner. These things are like 15 bucks off eBay. They're temperamental sometimes, they don't work. Uh, any of the ones that don't have a barcode, so maybe some of the probably a bad example because that one does but some of the jewel case ones like that that maybe don't have a barcode on the back I'll just use my phone with Amazon and do the picture scan most of these will go Amazon I will make a note though like they a lot of them are sealed like this is a sealed game but the edges and stuff have a little bit of wear on them and a little bit of dens like the or a little bit of bends the, the bottom's a little crushed but it still has the tape that seals everything in so it's never been opened so I'm not going to price them new on Amazon, I'll do like new and just list that the contents are completely factory sealed and that there is just some edge and corner wear to the box because any game collector is going to want to know that and they're not going to consider that new. Uh, and then some of the odder stuff, like I'll have a game that has the jewel case and a manual but no box anymore, these will probably put on eBay only because the manual will add a little bit of value. It's more of like a collector thing. And I find you get more collectors looking for stuff like that on eBay than Amazon. Uh, and then a few of these, to be quite honest, I am going to keep for my own collection. But just for the sake of the video, I'll, I'll show most of these getting listed and priced so you can see how I do it. So the first one we'll grab is Joan of Arc here. And we will scan the barcode right there. Okay, so the first one I showed you, the Joan of Arc game you saw, it has basically no value. What I'll do with those kind of games is, um, I should move some of this stuff out of the way, that customer information, is what I'll do with some of those no value games, like the Joan of Arc ones or other ones, is I will lot those together on eBay and I'll just auction them off or sell them for a very cheap price. Uh, here's one I already know is worth a decent amount of coin, but we will look it up anyways just to show you the price. So again, just like before. There's the barcode right there. I will give the barcode a scan. There we go. Sometimes it takes more than one try. And we get it loaded up here. And you can see, there it is, pops up. Sales rank 7,802. That's not bad for video games. I try to stay under 10,000. Uh, see all product details. We'll close some of these out. We don't need those open anymore. And we have four new from $200, eight used from $73.82, and one collectible from $66.35. So if I go over to the uh, used, you can see there's none even prime and blah blah blah. Good video game case, acceptable for disc set, quality guaranteed, original artwork. So these are all very good. Mine's gonna be like new, so there's the only other one like new. So I might do $95 like new. This one is sealed, so to take you through an Amazon listing, I guess if you guys wanna see it, we'll sell yours. And again, I paid $10 or I think about $10 for this entire lot of PC games. It's like anything, it's kinda of like PS2 games. A, a large chunk of uh, PC games aren't going to be worth a whole bunch but there are some rare big box ones that will bring good money the key is to look for uh, not even so much windows xp era because you can get a lot of that on steam and like gog and stuff but look for uh like windows 3.1 windows 95 windows 98 and dos gaming too uh, dos gaming gets a little hard to check because you have to usually test a floppy and not everyone has a floppy drive nowadays you can buy modern floppy drives with usb adapters on the back like external ones and they'll test it. But anyway, so I'm not even gonna do used like new. I'm gonna do collectible like new. Um, I'm not gonna match the price. We'll see his one collectible, see if it's sealed or anything. No, it's not even gonna let me. All right, well anyways, I'm gonna do 99, no, 95. Stay under that other one. Uh, quantity one, and advanced view. And I'm going to type this game is Factory. Learn how to type. Factory sealed. New. Never been open or played. The game box has some mild edge and corner wear, but it is very minimal. And then something like ships fast from Ontario, Canada. 
always pre proofread your stuff so you don't make spelling mistakes. Uh, quantity one, mine's DVD template, so it'll be like 325 that they'll charge shipping for standard and about 14 if they pick expedited. If they do pick standard, this game box is too big for Canada to fit in an envelope. It'll go expedited anyways and run you 12, 14 dollars. I don't mind. I price with that in mind, um, knowing that it's going to cost me an extra six to seven dollars to ship. As long as you know that going into it, you should be okay without losing money. I could create more templates for Amazon, but this this works for me. I honestly, I have a template for video games, DVDs, and then a template for like board games and larger boxes. And some of these big box PC games will just fall under this category, and I'll eat some of the shipping costs. But that's it. There we go. Do do do. The product is already listed in the inventory. The reason that is is I have sold this a few times, uh, and I got forty five fifty dollars a piece for them. But that was for the jewel case version only. This is a complete in box. You could essentially add an image if you wanted that would uh, stand you out in the crowd of all these guys. But there's not a lot listed anyways. Um, but it, it does help, especially from a collector aspect. But we're not going to do that. I don't like wasting the time like that. If I want to take pictures, it's going on eBay or it's going to be over a hundred dollars on Amazon. You could argue this is pretty close, but. That's all right. Save and finish. And the reason I didn't click the other Amazon product that it said I had in there was because that one was uh, used good, I believe. So I didn't want to use the same product condition. And there we go. That's listed on Amazon. It is ready for sale. Very minimal products on Amazon.ca now. Um, other than I do have a second Amazon store. Maybe I'll show you guys one of these days. But I'll get no monetization for it because it's all adult products. And I don't think YouTube's going to want me to show that. Okay, so we will scan the next uh, game and see what we got for value. Alright, here's the next game, Dungeon Siege. Again, this one's factory sealed. It has the tape, whatever, that little round tape there, sealing this down. Uh, condition, you know, check these over just like I'm doing. Condition overall is pretty good. It's pretty minimal wear. Uh, this one, again, is going to go... <clears throat> I can almost get away with new with this one, but I just I don't want to risk the negative. Um for someone you know who just doesn't like the little bit of wear so i i am gonna sell it as like new but still gonna list its new factory sealed let's see what dungeon seeds brings anyone oh there's no barcode there oh there's no barcode there ah oh, i don't think that's gonna bring it up but we will try all right let's see what dungeon siege brings i am going to guess hmm I don't know what I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess $23. I've never looked this game up either. So I better make sure to get over here, click this, see if it, I'm going to try that bottom barcode, see if that scans it in. Hey, Dungeon Siege, it worked. There it is right down there. Two offers, 20,000 sales rank. Okay, so the sales rank's not great for video games. Oh, well, that's why. You're not going to get, if you guys ever see this, and it might seem a little too good to be true, um, what I suggest doing is just get a better idea. I just copy paste this, head on over to eBay and see what it's selling for on eBay. I don't hit sold. As you see here, I hit completed because I want to see an average sell through rating. Not very much, $11 with bids, $20 shipping. Uh, it's probably not that much. I'm sure someone in the US bought it because of, you know, that's probably global shipping for Canadians. Um, eight, 250, 14 buy it now, 19, 11, Let's buy it now. These are all, oh, that's the hard case version. This has still got the cardboard box on it. 31, oh, that's both. So I'm gonna go, cause Amazon usually brings a little higher. I'm gonna go $18 on Amazon. I guess I was off on my guess. That's all right. Um, just like before, I'm not gonna show you guys the whole process of this. You just saw how I did the last one. Um, I'm, collect I'm selecting Merchant Fulfill too, because I'm not, uh, FBA fulfilling it because um, video games usually go too quick and the fees for FBA has become ridiculous. All right, so the next game is this fantasy six pack, which reminds me, go check out the Facebook page, the reseller six pack. Uh, we let you know what channel the reseller six pack show is going to be on each Sunday. Here we go, this is the second game, it's the Fantasy 6 pack, and it is factory sealed again, it comes with six games, uh, Dragon Throne, Prince of Quinn, Robin Hood, Disciples 2, looks like a bunch of variations of Disciples 2, yeah, Servants of the Dark, Dark Prophecy, 
uh, Guardians of the Light. So this one is factory sealed, no idea what it brings. I'm gonna guess, I was wrong on the last one, so I'm gonna guess low on this one, 15 bucks. We will uh, get it scanned and see what it brings. Um, but even just going off the two games after fees and shipping, I'm probably already $100. Take away the $10 I spent on the game. I've already made $90 profit on these games. Here we go. There's the six pack game loaded up. That is a terrible ass sales rank. I'm going to guess because this person has the price too high. Not even $14.99. I could check Camel Camel Camel, see how long this is sat for. I could check eBay, see if it's selling a little better and quicker on eBay. Um, I'll probably just list it as the same price as that guy. Is he a fairly new seller? No, he's been around for a while. He's got more feedback than me. Because that's... No, that's that Dungeon Siege. I just want to get over to eBay. Give this game a... Look up. And see what it brings on eBay. Most of the 18 plus 16 shipping, 14 episodes to complete and see if this thing actually sells. Uh, doesn't look like it. Not often. That's alright. It's gonna sit on a shelf. I still didn't pay much, so we will list this on Amazon. Again, I'll skip through all this because it's just like you guys saw with the last one it's going to go collectible like new because it's sealed this one's even almost good enough to go factory sealed quantity one um price what did that guy price his at 14.99 i will just do 14 dollars. i won't even drop the price if he drops at christmas time it might even sell we are in q4 a lot of these sales ranks are going to change and then the same as last time this game is brand new factory sealed all right, we're going to switch it up a bit and do some jewel case style games. This is called a jewel case if you didn't know that. American McGee's Alice. This is actually a pretty fun game. I have played this back in the day. It's like a twisted version of Alice in Wonderland. And does it have a barcode or are we looking this up on the phone yet? It does have a barcode. So we will give this one a scan and see what it brings. So far this uh, scanner has been working exceptionally well, which is rare. 4,000 sales rank, so that's really good. That'll sell a lot quicker. Three offers. Let's click it and see what it is bringing. Open box, $27.99. Three open box. How come they don't have open box always for an option? I wish some of those PC games had open box, like new but open box. It's $29.99. Open box, very good. No description. It's, I don't know how people get away with no description. In jewel case with both discs, has back end artwork. CD code, but no front cover artwork. Mine has the front cover artwork. You know what? So I'm just, you know, I'll, screw these people. I paid next to nothing for it. I'm going to do $25. So same as normal, other than there's no collectible this time, um, which is fine. We will do use very good because there are no cracks or anything in the jewel case. And the CDs are very clean on this. Always check the CDs if it is open. We'll do $25. Another quick tip, guys, any games that are worth like a dollar or worth nothing, like, you know, 10, 20 cent sport games, if they're in a clear jewel case or a PS2 style clamshell case, I will pull the artwork out and I will save those cases because you come across cracked and destroyed jewel cases and it's better to swap everything over. And that is the most true for Sega Saturn and Sega CD games, the North American versions, because the discs on them, or I mean, the cases on them are ridiculously large and they are hard to find. So... If you ever find like a sports game, uh, I don't know, or like NASCAR for Sega Saturn for a dollar, I'll buy it just for that jewel case. I don't think I'll go through every game because that'll make quite a long video, but I just want to share some with you. Here's Heroes 3, Heroes of Might and Magic 3. It is a complete set. It is in the jewel case, but I don't know if the camera's picking it up. This is a factory sealed copy. And there is a barcode on the back, so we'll get it scanned and see where we are at for the price of this. Here's a Might and Magic. I'm gonna guess, because I know the big box version of this can sell for 80 to $90, so I'm gonna guess uh, $30 for this. Let's see. Scanned, Let's see if she comes up. Ooh, 15,000 sales rank. Not a great sales rank. I don't see any for sale though, which could be why the sales rank is so high. We will check eBay, see if we can get some ideas on prices and sell-through rates. Again, you could check Camel, Camel, Camel. There's other apps and places you can check to see the sell-through rate of items. Um, I get lazy sometimes, honestly, and I don't always look it up. 
15 with bids. Wow. If anyone was, oh, it's just this, if anyone was watching that late at night, that would have been a great grab. Um, 15, 8, 20 sealed. Um, so you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do $25 sealed. That's what I'm gonna do. And we will move on to the next one. So actually, I missed a big box game. This one's also sealed, but the box is seen better days. Um, and I've actually sold this game before in box used, and I got about $15 to $16 for it. And that's what they're just bringing on eBay. I did look it up. We'll check it on Amazon and see if uh, it's even listed, because last time I was the only seller. Brought the scan up, 41,000 sales rank. Um, no sellers, so I'm gonna list it uh, like 1850 this time and see if it moves on 1850. If it doesn't, I'll drop it down to 15 bucks. And I'm gonna do um, condition good. I'm not even gonna do like new or very good because the box is really beat up, even though it's factory sealed. Under promise, over deliver, especially for Amazon. So used good. Uh, oops, let's do 1850 and quantity one it is sim life you just basically you work in the gene pool man you make life you make animals you make weird animals weird well like on there a rhino tiger a tino i don't know what you'd call it i i used to play that game as a kid it was a lot of fun i did enjoy it um let's see what it sells for i can't see this one being much i don't know i'm gonna guess 12 bucks one for sale, 38,000 sales rank. Not great. But let's 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 click this sucker and see what the value is. <laughs> 7.99. I was kind of close when I said 12 bucks. Jewel case with artwork, blah blah blah. You can, that's actually not a bad idea what this guy did. You can mention that it's Windows 95, 98, so someone doesn't get confused by it for like their granddaughter, you know. You get grandma buying the game for granddaughter, have no idea this game isn't gonna run on Windows 10. That kind of stuff happens, and I have had returns for that before. So that seller's actually kind of smart putting that. Um, and also, I just stole his list. I'm literally gonna copy paste that. He's $7.99, uh, shipping out of BC, so I'm, I'm gonna be bringing too much stuff up here. I'm gonna be the dick and go $7.98. And I probably won't lower the price if he lowers it because, again, just like last time, Q4, Christmas, it'll sell. Okay, so here's one out of the lot that's going to get listed on eBay. You could list this on uh, Amazon. I actually don't even know what it sells. So you know what? Let's look it up on Amazon. But the reason I'm going to uh, list this one on eBay more likely than Amazon is just due to the fact that it has the manual and, you know, there's going to be more collectors looking for this kind of thing than just the game to, say, play. And I find when you get oddities like that that have the manual with it or a special figure or something, they do tend to bring a little more money. However, there is 10 on Amazon right now. Uh, six new from 59, four used from 27.99. So we can check and see if any of them say like complete game. It has been tested and working. Disc has light service scratches and box is lightly damaged. So that one has the box for 54. I don't know if these have the box. I'm gonna guess like new probably has the box. Um, set yourself up like there these people are new this guy actually isn't even that new you set yourself up not put in a description like you leave yourself to the discrepancy of the buyer because used good is, is is more like that's subjective right what you might consider good condition i might consider poor condition what a collector might consider like new i might consider just like you know junk or something it really it's really subjective so i think you should always put um a description unless it's brand new then just put brand new people know they're buying what it is and it's brand new just my two cents on it I mean you can do it honestly in the end however you want um, but just that's kind of my input on that I'm gonna check this on eBay too and see what it brings jewel case. we'll add jewel case eBay doesn't like commas like that there we go Three, oh, that's not the same game. Uh, so, I mean, even Jewel Case is selling 30 bucks. There it is in the original box. That's not a bad deal, actually, complete in the box if someone wants uh, to add to their collection. 18, 7. Huh. So, it seems to. I mean, there's nothing with the manual. Um, 
I'm gonna cross list this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna complete this on Amazon listing it and mention there is a manual with it, and I'm gonna cross list it on eBay. Just don't forget when you cross list stuff because you don't want to sell something that's already been sold. I have had that happen once or twice, and it is not a great experience. I'm sure, it's not great for the buyer either. I wouldn't be happy to have it happen with me. And again, this is gonna be the same as before. I'm gonna probably do use very good. And then just describe that there's no box, but the jewel case is mint, the disc is mint, the instructions are mint, the game art's all mint. You got, you got to check this stuff over, open the case up, you know, flip, flip that CD around, check that for scratches. That one looks mint. Hey everybody! Oh, there you go. Looks good. 3DO game. Woohoo! Close it back up. Well, that does it for another video. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully maybe you even learned something. And we'll now watch for some big box PC games. Uh, Till next time, I will see you all in the next video. And if you're not already, make sure you like and comment, subscribe, and hit the little bell notification if you want to be notified when I make a new video. Talk to you all later. Bye.